So I was going through some of my daughter's art supplies the other day because I needed a brush that I didn't have a specific shape that I needed one. So I was going to borrow it from her. When I discovered a product that that's never been talked about in in the coloring channel, it's talked about in the acrylics. So I took this product and I wanted to try it. And I was amazed. And I cannot believe people do not use this. So this is called Dollar and Roni, Roni, Low Odor Thinner. Now, this is not the same as Mineral Spirits, which is here. Now, I don't use a lot of Mineral Spirits in my pictures, and for a lot of really good reasons. First, it's not the healthiest thing for me to be using in my craft room, so I have to always go out of my craft room or move my birds out of the room and my bearded dragon ming has to go out and that's not so bad i could do that but i just i don't like the way it looks and i'm going to show you why in just a minute but when i found this low odor thinner this is different it says it's for oil painting and it thins out the oil paint now i don't know a hundred percent of what people use it for maybe to clean brushes and stuff like that i'm not an acrylic artist so i really don't know but i just wanted to see what what would happen from my own knowledge if i use this on colored pencils and i'm about to show you because this totally blew me away i'm gonna use this directly out of the bottle because believe it or not you can it doesn't seem to get dirty and I'm going to use this out of the cap. So I'm just putting a couple of drops in. I don't need much, just a little bit. I've already brought my animals out of the room and my window is open. I also have a fan blowing, which you can hear in the background. So you really want to have a lot of ventilation when you use these products. And that's because they're both petroleum products. I don't know the chemistry behind them. They're different products. But in general, you take the same precautions for both, okay? You don't want to use them in a small, tight room that has no air circulation. This is going to be on this side, and the mineral spirits is going to be over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I don't like about mineral spirits. But I'm using a polychromos. Now with mineral spirits, you have to have several layers down or it has nothing to mix with. So I'm going to put like three layers down. That would be the minimal amount of layers that I would use with the mineral spirits. And I'm going to add in a lighter blue so that we could see some sort of blending. And then I'm going to put a third layer and maybe a fourth layer. And of course, this is way fast because of time. Okay, so now I'm going to take a clean Q-tip. I don't usually use Q-tips. I like to use a filbert brush. I'm not going to use a filbert brush today because I don't, I want you to be able to see it exactly the way I see it from a plain clean uh, Q-tip. And I'm going to put it on Okay, and I want you to look at this, and I'm going to zoom right into it. This is what happens with, with mineral spirits. I always get a hazy mess over the lighter color, and the darker color, when you're blending, sort of gets white in the middle. And then when it dries, it never dries the same color as I used before. So I don't like the look of my picture after I've used Yamsol. It's just a personal thing with me. Some people love it. I know artists that swear by Yamsol. I just personally don't like it and I don't like the look of it. Look of it. So it was amazing to me that now you could see the white right in here and the white smeary didn't blend that great. So I'm going to do the same thing On the other side, I'm going to put down three, four layers, four layers. I'm going to use the same pencil. 
one, two, we'll put three, and a fourth. So here I have a second one, identical pencils. Now I'm going to use the thinner. Okay, and what you'll see is I didn't get the, see the white on here? I didn't get that on here. So my color remained as vivid as it was, but I did have a blending into the lighter color. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on here. When I go back... I get these white streaks. You could see it happening with it, where I don't have it with that. Now, if I was using a filbert brush, uh, let me see if I have one. I don't see a filbert brush. Let me get out a different brush. This is a brand new brush, so I have to break the bristles. Now I wanna show you with the pink. And then I'm going to take a lighter pink, or a purple or pink, actually. And I'm going to use a brush. Look how totally smooth this makes it. It just blends it right into each other. Now I'm going to try it on... See what happens when I do it on here. So much nicer. Look how beautiful that looks. So now I'm going to t show it to you if you use a wax. Wax breaks down way easier than oil pencils when you're using either one. So I'm going to take, I'm using my Prismacolor, and this is Imperial Violet. One, two, three, and four. And now I'm going to take my Lavender, one, is this lavender or lilac? Lilac. One, two, three, four. Now it's gonna break down way easier. I only have to add the little tiniest tip of it. Look how perfect it blends. Just beautiful. Now, it will probably be a little bit easier if I use a darker and a lighter color. So let me get out my yellow. And let me get out a red. This you'll be able to see really well. One. Two. Three, four. Remember always to go back and forth. One. Then I put it to the side. Two. The other side. Three. And then down the middle. Four. Look how easy it makes orange. Now the beautiful thing is about it is this remained the same color. If I was using, say, a red, let me see, I have a Holbein here. Let's see what Holbein does. This Holbein is 
wax and oil. And let's mix it with, I think I only have one Holbein out. Mix it onto an oil. Now, I remember people saying that they had trouble blending the Holbeins. Oh, nice. Perfect. Well, I'll, I'll never use a Holbein without this again. Look how nice that is. I feel like I'm using paint. It, it works so well. Now, if I did the same thing with the mineral spirits. And four. My mineral spirits is over here. Get a clean one. It breaks down nicely with the mineral spirits. But when this dries, and I zoom this in, there's a huge difference right now between the color. This is the original color. This is a much lighter version of the original color. Remember, it's a petroleum product. It needs to have the same precautions as you would with any petroleum product, any Gamsol, any turpentine. It's not a turpentine. I don't particularly smell this. The first time I opened the jar, I smelled a little bit, a tiny bit. But after this, the second or third time I opened the jar, I really didn't smell anything. And this is drying. Look at <laughs> I like that blend with the orange and then into the yellow. But take a look at this. It's now dry. This is much lighter than this. I didn't lose the color. So what is this called? Dallar and Roni Low Odor Thinner. It's mostly anything that you will read on it, it's going to be about acrylics. I don't think anybody realized just how well this worked on pencils. And the last test I'm going to show you, colors, so colors, and I have my Brock Funners, two of the cheapest garbage pencils that I own. Oops. Two pencils that are slightly quality deficient. You can barely tell that that is a cheap pencil. And my soul colors, let's see, is barely cover. You can barely tell the difference between that and this. So that is my test. This isn't the only pencils that I've been testing them out on. I have a lot of these. This is one that I just found. This was the first test that I did, and I was that... It's really shocked me when I did it that I got such fantastic coverage. And this is the mineral spirit. And you can see this is a little bit of a mess all over the place. And this perfectly smooth and vibrant. Where can you get this stuff? Well, you can't get it on Amazon, unfortunately. But you can get it in Walmart. Uh, it's like under $5 in Walmart. Um, it's also... A little bit more money. I think it's like $7 at Blix. And it's probably, by the way, it's spelled Odur. Odur. O-D-O-U-R. It's probably a European thing. You might be able to get it on Amazon um, in Europe. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be using this stuff. It is not giving me the same issues as the Mineral Spirits. It works 10 times better than my blending uh, marker. I can probably get rid of these because these are always dry and never work on oil. So I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.